the most complex instrument in the world. The organ can sound dramatic or fanciful. Getting this sound is no small thing. It takes painstaking precision. One local man has been getting it right for decades. Here, this pipe here is a little better. Nice pipe. John Brombaugh makes world-class organs in his workshop in Glenwood. It all started when he was a little boy growing up in Germantown, Ohio. My mom and dad take me to church, my brother and sisters to the church every day, every Sunday, and, and so I was the oldest, oldest kid, and so when I was a little boy, I would hear the organ playing every Sunday. Brombaugh was fascinated by the larger-than-life instrument. He eventually got apprenticeships with some of the best organ makers in the U.S. and Germany. Brombaugh says it's a specialized field. People ask me what I do, and I say, well, I'm an organ builder, and they look at me and say, well, do you make kidneys or livers? <laughs> Over the last 37 years, Brombaugh has built 66 pipe organs, about half in this workshop in Glenwood. Some have taken him as long as three years to build. You know, you don't build it in a day. <laughs> it takes a long time. Brombaugh uses a voicing machine we'll to get better. the perfect pitch. Each pipe has to be adjusted. So I have to modify something else here. The woodwork and metalwork are done by hand. It's not just so much that it's a lot of work, but it's so many different skills. Brombaugh's pipe organs are all over the world, in 22 states and countries like Sweden and Japan. One of his organs is in Eugene at the Central Lutheran Church. This instrument is one of the very fine organs in its style in the world. Brombaugh says despite his profession, he's not a particularly religious man. Us trying to define God is ridiculous. For him, music is a sort of religion. He remembers a time when he was listening to an organist in Bologna, Italy. Afterwards, I said, you know, Luya, my theological ideas are pr probably all screwed up, and I'm not sure I'm ever going to go to heaven, but I don't worry about it, because you had me in heaven for about 50 minutes. After a lifetime of work, Brombaugh is retiring. The tools he has used for decades are still. The workshop that was once crowded with workers, empty. I get sad when I walk into this place and I, and I think about it a little bit. But like the instruments that have been around for hundreds of years, Brombaugh's legacy will never die. This is special. And I'm glad that I could be part of that.